G'day legends and welcome back to the episode of That Slot Car News and Updates for a Tuesday. As always, we have got plenty to get through. A massive thank you for tuning in and a big thank you to the official news sponsor, Pendle Slot. Please check out their socials link below and the channel description. Update on the TSCG Porsche Special by Bauer and much more. So let's kick off news for Tuesday. So let's kick off Tuesday news with what's new at Pendle Slot. Now showing some pre-orders from Fly Slot. There's a fair list here, so bear with me. We do have the Ferrari 512S car number eight making of Le Mans, the camera car. We've also got the Ferrari 512S car number five making of Le Mans, it's car with figure. So you do have two different variations there. Porsche 911, the 60th anniversary with two figures. We've also got the Porsche 911 car number three, the Bathurst from 1970. I believe I have one of these waiting for me at home. Can't wait to get my hands on it. Renault 5 Turbo Car 23, the Monte Carlo Rally of 1982, followed straight away with another Renault 5 Turbo Car 32, Tour de Course 1984. That was a good year. That's when I was born. Show my age now. Onto the Lantia 037 1983, and finally the Porsche 934 car number one 1981 Rothmans livery. So there are your pre orders from Pendleslot. So checking out Scalar Trick, we've got another video of some car action. I'm loving these action videos from the team at Scalar Trick. The 1978 Swedish GP Twin Pack rocking around their track. Now, if you have noticed, the track has changed. It's been there for a couple of weeks now. It's from the original museum. This is a track that was donated to Scalatric. It's stunning. If you haven't seen my visit to the old museum, please check it out. And this track was in there, but it's good that they are using this now for some of their demos. And also they've got a really good pick on their social media pages of the kit cars, Knight Rider. I absolutely love, I'm a kid of the 80s. I love these cars. I do have one in my collection. They did send me a mystery box with a kit car in it. And I, I can't wait to get this around my track when I'm back in Australia. Next, we have Carrera showing off two of their GOTY Ford Mustangs. Now on social media, I see a little bit of a hit and miss with this one. People like them, some don't. I don't mind them, they have grown on me. When I first saw them, the liveries really popped out, uh, but I don't mind these. They are showing these off on one of their tracks. Again, well done to the social media team. And a massive congratulations to Carrera World. It is their one year anniversary. If you didn't check out the Carrera Live that I did recently with the team there, and I did do a video of the under construction and the video since it's been completed, please check out the channel and you'll find them on there. But congratulations to Carrera World. Highly recommend it. If you are in Austria, near Salzburg, go check it out. Next up, the legends from SRC showing off a killer Porsche triple pack. I'm lucky enough to have one of these in my collection. Absolutely stunning. Their box art's really good. The book inside and the three cars look magnificent. You do know I'm a big fan of SRC and there's a reason why, because they make beautiful looking cars. I will give you a warning. If you do want SRC cars, jump on them. They sell out very, very quick. And I don't think I can say anything yet, but they will be coming to Australia, I believe, very, very soon. Not these pack, but the cars themselves. So watch this space. I'll update you further when I'm back in Australia. Next, we have Slotted showing off the Maserati MC GT3 2015 car number 33. I believe this is now being shipped to dealers. I like this, it's a bit of a unique car. I have done a test run of one of their Maseratis on the channel way back. Loved it, went really, really well. If you haven't seen it, I will try and link it below. Uh, sometimes the links don't work, but I highly recommend the Maserati. Here's another one for your stable. If you're a Slotic collector, you know what you're looking at. If you're not a Slotic collector or you haven't got a Slotic car in your collection, this might be the one for you. Next, we have Fly Slot showing a bit of a teaser on their socials. It's a really cool looking pick. Two drivers, it looks like the Marlborough colors in the background. Now, of course, the comments have gone wild and someone has picked out what car it was. A couple of really good guesses in there, but we do believe it is a Porsche. Here it is on screen. Can't wait to see. If I am wrong, I'm wrong, but it looks like this is the best guess out of all of them. And I did do a little bit of searching in the background to see if this car existed and it definitely does. So if you are a Porsche collector, if you are a Fly Slot collector, this one might be coming very soon. 
Next, we have some down under news. Yes, Australia, my neck of the woods. From Bonza, he is showing off an incredible pioneer. It is a Trans Am car number six. It is driven by Mark Donahue, 1967 of Sebring. It is available now. Looks incredible. Absolutely love the livery. I mean, we all love this livery. I know someone else who might love this livery. So if you are in Australia, jump on this and you might see me checking out Bonza's track when we're back in Melbourne, so stay tuned for that. So a little bit of Aussie news. Good looking car by Pioneer. I'm a huge Pioneer fan and a good post from Bonza. So just a bit of news update here in regards to Black Arrow. If you haven't been following social media, there's been some chatter. Have they closed down? It looks like they have. Are they continuing? I have sent Black Arrow an email about a week ago. Hopefully we get a reply. It does appear that they're not going anymore, but I do want an official word from someone from there. I've checked out their Facebook page and the last post was March 21. So I've also reached out on Facebook Messenger just to get the word to see what's happening because their cars were beautiful. Really, really nice cars. The website's still running, but it doesn't look like it's been updated. Uh, if anyone from Black Arrow is watching, that'd be really cool. Please let us know in the comments if you do know the official word, but it does look like they're not running anymore. But I have reached out to see if I can get official word from Black Arrow to see what's going on for 2023 or 2024. So just a quick update on the TSCG Porsche Special by Bauer. You're probably sick of hearing it by now, but there has been a fair bit of interest in it, so I do want to keep those updated. There is only four left. 26 have been reserved. If you still are interested, please let me know, because if someone drops off the list, of course they haven't been paid for yet, I can then reissue a new one to uh, someone who is waiting. So if you are wanting one, still please email me, and you will go on the list, but there is only four left. Secondly, in regards to post, at the moment, the majority of my buyers are from Europe and America. I do have some in Australia, which makes it easier for me. So I am trying to organize to get these sent out in bulk lots to the countries, to where the people are living. If I send everything from Australia, there will be a bigger bill, I'm guessing, and some countries do have VAT fees, which is unfair on the buyer. So watch this space. If you are in Australia, you will definitely get it signed by me and it will be sent in Australia by me. If you are from around the world and you want it signed, the easiest way might be getting it sent to you from Bauer and then if you want it signed, send it to me and I will send it back. But at this stage, watch this space. The postage side of it hasn't been handled yet, but I'm working on the best way to get it delivered to people who have ordered, so stay tuned. And there's only four left, so I really appreciate everyone's support on this one, and I think there will be a second project in the pipe works. Hmm. Let's kick off slot car goodies with Magnetic Racing and they are showing off some track flood lights. These things look pretty damn epic. Now I've made some notes. There is a four LED, I believe, and an eight LED. I could have got that wrong. If you are watching uh, boys from Magnetic Racing, please let me know. Does that mean you're gonna have four heads, eight heads, or is it just different light configuration? These look pretty epic. And they're also showing off some singles as well. So if you don't want the four poster or the four head, you can get singles as well. So some more cool kits from Magnetic Racing. Slot Centre has shared some more information, some pics of some of the items that you may receive in the Kickstarter pledge boxes. Now in regards to the Kickstarter, I believe it kicks off on the 16th of October. You will see my logo on their page. I'm not sponsored or paid by them, but they will be sending some items for review because I don't want to see what the Kickstarter thing is all about. So watch this space. But some of the items that they are showing us are some power poles. We've also got a rendering of a building, so an item that will be coming. We've got some barriers that you can put around your track. Also some signs, multiple different signs here, some turning signs. Uh, you can, I guess, guess what the other ones will be, maybe stop signs, giveaway signs. Uh, you've also got a start finish gate or a, I guess a point, a checkpoint gate. And finishing off, we've got the reflector poles that are on the side of the road. Now keep in mind, this is directed to the rally market, but of course you can use this anywhere on your track. But Back in Australia, March 2024, when I'm in the slot shed, I will have multiple tracks up and running, and a rally track will be on the book, so you will see some of their items around the track back in Oz. So that's wrap on this episode of That Slot Car News and Updates. As always, a massive thank you to you at home for tuning in regularly, and a very big thank you to the new sponsor, Pendle Slot. 
check out their socials link in this video description and the channel description. That is it, we're back in Australia next week. The channel will wind down a little bit. As of Friday, we are transferring to a hotel, so I will try and get the news out, but it will be very busy uh, for the rest of the next week or two because I am going back to another country. Very excited, cannot wait. I do have some big videos coming out in between. The Electric Dreams Tour will be out this week. Really fun video. I will have the LA Mansion, including a museum, coming out very soon. And I have been holding on to the UK Festival video because I want to release it a little bit later in the year to get you pumped for next year's one. So stay tuned for that. But as always, at that soccer guy on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and sometimes the old TikTok. Uh, if this is the kind of content you like, please consider subscribing. But be safe, take care, support your local. Bye.